What are the different access paths available? The most common access paths are Full table scans Table access by ROAD Index unique scans Index range scans Index full scans Index skip scans Full table scans a full table scan reads all rows from a table and then filters out those rows that do not meet the selection criteria. When the optimizer considers a full table scan. In general, the optimizer chooses a full table scan when it cannot use a different access path or another usable access path is higher cost. Typical reasons for full table scan. 1. No index exists. If no index exists, then the optimizer uses a full table scan. 2. The query predicate applies a function to the indexed column, unless the index is a function-based index, the database indexes the values of the column, not the values of the column with the function applied. A typical application-level mistake is to index a character column, such as char underscore call, and then query the column using syntax such as where char underscore call equals 1. The database implicitly applies a to underscore number function to the constant number 1, which prevents use of the index. 3. A select count, asterisk, query is issued, and an index exists, but the indexed column contains nulls. The optimizer cannot use the index to count the number of table rows because the index cannot contain null entries. 4. The query predicate does not use the leading edge of a B-tree index, for example, an index might exist on employees, first underscore name, last underscore name. 5. 5. If a user issues a query with the predicate where last underscore name equals king, then the optimizer may not choose an index because column first underscore name is not in the predicate. However, in this situation, the optimizer may choose to use an index skip scan. 6. The query is unselective. If the optimizer determines that the query requires most of the blocks in the table, then it uses a full table scan, even though indexes are available. Full table scans can use larger I.O. calls. Making fewer large I.O. calls is cheaper than making many smaller calls. 7. The table statistics are stale. For example, a table was small, but now has grown large. If the table statistics are stale and do not reflect the current size of the table, then the optimizer does not know that an index is now most efficient than a full table scan. 8. The table is small. If a table contains fewer than n blocks under the high watermark, where n equals the setting for the db underscore file underscore multi-block underscore read underscore count initialization parameter, then a full table scan may be cheaper than an index range scan. The scan may be less expensive regardless of the fraction of tables being accessed or indexes present. 9. The table has a high degree of parallelism. A high degree of parallelism for a table skews the optimizer toward full table scans over range scans. Query the value in the all underscore tables dot degree column to determine the degree of parallelism. 10. The query uses a full table scan hint. The hint full table alias instructs the optimizer to use a full table scan. How a full table scan works. In a full table scan, the database sequentially reads every formatted block under the high watermark. The database reads each block only once. The following graphic depicts a scan of a table segment, showing how the scan skips unformatted blocks below the high watermark. Because the blocks are adjacent, the database can speed up the scan by making I.O. calls larger than a single block, known as a multi-block read. The size of a read call ranges from one block to the number of blocks specified by the db underscore file underscore multi-block underscore read underscore count initialization parameter. For example, setting this parameter to 4 instructs the database to read up to 4 blocks in a single call. The algorithms for caching blocks during full table scans are complex. For example, the database caches blocks differently depending on whether tables are small or large. Table access by ROAD A row ID is an internal representation of the storage location of data. The row of a row specifies the data file and data block containing the row and the location of the row in that block. Locating a row by specifying its row is the fastest way to retrieve a single row because it specifies the exact location of the row in the database. Note ROADs can change between versions. Accessing data based on position is not recommended because rows can move. When the optimizer chooses table access by ROAD,
In most cases, the database accesses the table by ROAD after a scan of one or more indexes. However, table access by ROAD need not follow every index scan. If the index contains all needed columns, then access by ROAD might not occur. How Table Access by ROAD Works To access a table by ROAD, the database performs the following steps. 1. Obtains the ROADs of the selected rows, either from the statement where clause or through an index scan of one or more indexes. Table access may be needed for columns in the statement not present in the index. 2. Locates each selected row in the table based on its ROAD. Index Unique Scans An index unique scan returns at most one ROAD. When the optimizer considers index unique scans, an index unique scan requires an equality predicate. Specifically, the database performs a unique scan only when the following conditions apply. A query predicate references all columns in a unique index key using an equality operator, such as where prod underscore id equals 10. A SQL statement contains an equality predicate on a column, which is referenced by an index created with the create unique index statement. A unique or primary key constraint is insufficient by itself to produce an index unique scan. Consider the following example, which creates a primary key constraint on a column with a non-unique index, resulting in an index range scan rather than an index unique scan. You can use the index alias index underscore name hint to specify the index to use, but not a specific type of index access path. How Index Unique Scans Work The scan searches the index in order for the specified key. An index unique scan stops processing as soon as it finds the first record because no second record is possible. The database obtains the ROAD from the index entry and then retrieves the row specified by the ROAD. Index Range Scans An index range scan is an ordered scan of values. The range in the scan can be bounded on both sides or unbounded on one or both sides. The optimizer typically chooses a range scan for selective queries. By default, the database stores indexes in ascending order and scans them in the same order. For example, a query with the predicate department underscore ID greater than or equal to 20 uses a range scan to return rows sorted by index keys 20, 30, 40, and so on. If multiple index entries have identical keys, then the database returns them in ascending order by ROAD. An index range scan descending is identical to an index range scan except that the database returns rows in descending order. Usually, the database uses a descending scan when ordering data in a descending order, or when seeking a value less than a specified value. When the optimizer considers index range scans, for an index range scan, multiple values must be possible for the index key. Specifically, the optimizer considers index range scans in the following circumstances. One or more leading columns of an index are specified in conditions. A condition specifies a combination of one or more expressions and logical, boolean, operators and returns a value of true, false, or unknown. Examples of conditions include Department underscore ID equals ID. Department underscore ID, ID. Department underscore ID, ID. And combination of the preceding conditions for leading columns in the index, such as department underscore ID low and department underscore ID high. Note. For the optimizer to consider a range scan, wildcard searches of the form call one like percent ASD must not be in a leading position. 0, 1, or more values are possible for an index key. Tip. If you require sorted data, then use the order by clause, and do not rely on an index. If an index can satisfy an order by clause, then the optimizer uses this option and thereby avoids a sort. The optimizer considers an index range scan descending when an index can satisfy an order by descending clause. If the optimizer chooses a full table scan or another index, then a hint may be required to force this access path. The index, tbl underscore alias 9 underscore name, and index underscore desk, tbl underscore alias 9 underscore name, hence instruct the optimizer to use a specific index. How Index Range Scans Work During an index range scan, Oracle database proceeds from root to branch. In general, the scan algorithm is as follows. 1. Read the root block. 
2. Read the branch block. 3. Alternate the following steps until all data is retrieved. A. Read a leaf block to obtain a rowid. B. Read a table block to retrieve a row. Note. In some cases, an index scan reads a set of index blocks, sorts the rowids, and then reads a set of table blocks. Thus, to scan the index, the database moves backward, backward, or forward through the leaf blocks. For example, a scan for IDs between 20 and 40 locates the first leaf block that has the lowest key value that is 20 or greater. The scan proceeds horizontally through the linked list of leaf nodes until it finds a value greater than 40, and then stops. The following figure illustrates an index range scan using ascending order. A statement requests the employee's records with the value 20 in the department underscore ID column, which has a non-unique index. In this example, two index entries for Department 20 exist. Index Full Scans An index full scan reads the entire index in order. An index full scan can eliminate a separate sorting operation because the data in the index is ordered by index key. When the optimizer considers index full scans, the optimizer considers an index full scan in a variety of situations. The situations include the following. A predicate references a column in the index. This column need not be the leading column. No predicate is specified, but all of the following conditions are met. All columns in the table and in the query are in the index. At least one indexed column is not null. A query includes an order by unindexed non-nullable columns. How index full scans work. The database reads the root block and then navigates down the left-hand side of the index or right if doing a descending full scan until it reaches a leaf block. Then the database reaches a leaf block, the scan proceeds across the bottom of the index, one block at a time, in sorted order. The database uses single block I.O. rather than multi-block I.O. The following graphic illustrates an index full scan. A statement requests the department's records ordered by department underscore ID. Index fast full scans. An index fast full scan reads the index blocks in unsorted order as they exist on disk. This scan does not use the index to probe the table, but reads the index instead of the table, essentially using the index itself as a table. When the optimizer considers index fast full scans, the optimizer considers this scan when a query only accesses attributes in the index. Note. Unlike a full scan, a fast full scan cannot eliminate a sort operation because it does not read the index in order. The index underscore FFS, table underscore name index underscore name, enforces a fast full index scan. How index fast full scans work. The database uses multi-block I.O. to read the root block and all of the leaf and branch blocks. The databases ignores the branch and root blocks and reads the index entries on the leaf blocks. Index Skip Scans An index skip scan occurs when the initial column of a composite index is skipped or not specified in the query. When the optimizer considers index skip scans. Often, skip scanning index blocks is faster than scanning table blocks and faster than performing full index scans. The optimizer considers a skip scan when the following criteria are met. The leading column of a composite index is not specified in the query predicate. For example, the query predicate does not reference the cust underscore gender column, and the composite index key is cust underscore gender, cust underscore email. Few distinct values exist in the leading column of the composite index, but many distinct values exist in the non-leading key of the index. For example, if the composite index key is cust underscore gender, cust underscore email, then the cust underscore gender column has only two distinct values, but cust underscore email has thousands. How index skip scans work. An index skip scan logically splits a composite index into smaller sub-indexes. The number of distinct values in the leading columns of the index determines the number of logical sub-indexes. The lower the number, the fewer logical sub-indexes the optimizer must create, and the more efficient the scan becomes. The scan reads each logical index separately, and skips index blocks that do not meet the filter condition on the non-leading column.